Welcome everyone, oh, good to see you back. This is something interesting for some of you <clears throat> who play a lot of Alliance games. So as you see, Captain's Log, they, the Captain's Log star date 213.1. There is my country and the enemy country. That is what was happening lately. Mightiest army, still I am the, the mightiest, interesting, still the strongest, the largest economy. Anyway, how it started. We started with me being Morocco and then being those countries. Funny thing that I I believe they had choice and they choose those countries while I, I was the last one to join and I went for that country. Then we started and the war went over. We were playing a little bit. I was doing economy all the time, of course. Saving on troops because I didn't want to spend my resources. I was constantly harassed by spies, like regular spies, not gold spies. And they were making some serious issues with, to me because they had like four economies, pumping money into the spies plus for economies working on the market, so market and and spies that were two things that they were killing me with. Finally, I managed to put some kind of uh, monopoly on selling oil with Russia. I'm not sure even if he was aware of that. <laughs> so we were selling oil at very high prices, which gave me possibility to buy uh, something else. In the end, I finished producing a lot of oil and a lot of gas together with I think f f grain I guess as you see I'm the, the smallest economy between those five but still I was getting quite nicely with the points army not the best because we are saving on infantry we're trying to get to orange units as soon as possible to clean the bots and our pri primary goal was to secure our borders make sure they are safe, take over Tunis, then try to take some islands that are easy to defend and then think what's, what to do then. Probably take Spain and Italy because they are easy to defend, take Greece. Not sure what was happening because it was a long time ago. Okay, so we went for Portugal because we were sure they cannot attack us in Portugal because of the Spain. Right, right, we are going forward. To be honest, we took a lot of empty cities from the bot. But as you see, we did manage also to take some cities here. Day 17, day 18. I think bot left a lot of empty cities because it was fighting someone. Either Russia or Greece. Yeah. Morocco, Spain, Larissa. Or maybe even it was me who managed to to do it. Uh, the main thing was I wanted to block the enemy transports coming through the Bosphorus. So I needed some presence here. Also quite big presence of scouts in this area and quite a lot of planes in Portugal and on this shore to make sure I'm safe. There was one landing that happened at some point. As you see the Spaniards took me over and I couldn't afford to pee. Yeah, there was something about the plane that wasn't able to kill one infantry on the sea. Very funny. As you see, we continued the war, we took over the Spain once more. We took even the French island here. So we are pushing more and more into Spain, fighting with friends and others here. I think we thought that we are strong enough to do it, but it turned out we are not. Russia at the same time decided to go on killing spree. I think Germans try to do something in Sweden. Yeah, something like that. I'm not sure. Maybe Morocco. 
uh, they try to win the game by simply taking the AIs without fighting me, but I managed to open the front here and here, so they decided to go for it. Maybe that was the reason why I, w I was winning, <laughs> I have to say. As you see, we stabilized the front here, we went for Pyrenees, trying to focus on those two provinces and push them. Then there was a breakthrough, we went through them. And yeah, Morocco 11,000, France, Morocco 22, Great Britain 69, Germans 127. They were not paying too much attention to the morale, so all troops coming, oh sorry, all troops coming from Great Britain and from Germany had low morale. Also, I allowed French troops to lose morale in the Spanish provinces they captured. Yeah. And we just went for. I think they thought that I'm using GMs. Yeah, I used 350 GMs by mistake, but for fixing two bombers. Yeah, by mistake. Sorry for that. Didn't make any difference. This 10 percent, but still, I admitted that I clicked by misclick. Anyway, we fought. I think I was doing quite fine with my advanced strategies like Tertius, like uh, Flower, like Charging Morale, like Agent R second level. Oh, maybe I'm not sure if I was doing an HR second level, probably not, not then. Because it was almost a year ago, yeah. So as you see, we focus on fighting in France. Then we started to take Italy, trying to take AI by surprise because AI is very simple to defeat. Then the Russians came to Greece. Then we managed to drive all AI. Italian troops into the sea, I think, because we took the most of it. Same thing happened with uh, with Portugal, with Spain, and we we took all of the AI troops on the sea trip. Okay, so it's happening. We are getting one to three countries conquered by losing by tie tying Russian army here and fleet. I think they were not aware that if the Russian army just smashed here, I could have lost. But nevertheless, we continue the war. Two armies converging on France, trying to break. As you see, my army is getting to the size where it can fight. I have arts, I have oil production here and food production here, and food production and material production here. There's a lot of food and gas and coal he here. So I had all three countries that I needed to win the map and then we continue pressing on them, continue to keep the high price of oil and food, saving money, not opening any of the barracks. There were some days where we were fighting, as you see my army is going up, their armies are below mine right now. Like greatly below mine. Yeah, Morocco versus France, Morocco versus Russia, Morocco uh, versus Great Britain. I think I sang some kind of fleet yeah, in the beginning when they were accusing me of using GMs, great gold marks to create planes. They couldn't believe how much you can produce from Morocco itself by having monopoly on the oil and quite high price on the food. I was able at the time to have in that day, I think I think the third week, half a million money just from trades. Okay, as you see, we crashed into them from Italy and then I think closed the gap. Yep, and crashed vertically. Closing the gap, sealing of Germany, Russians, sealing of reinforcements from Great Britain. So at that stage, map was won. It was just about finishing them off. 
this is what we did all of them turned AFK after that I think am I right or not I took more AIs to have higher morale yeah Great Britain <laughs> we took Belgium troops on the sea trip yeah still killing still killing uh, as you see we broke into the Germany with no defenses there we took back s some provinces in the Balkans our islands using the bigger fleet and then planes that were transported from Morocco through Italy to Balkans in general we had coverage of planes everywhere then there was a battle for Britain our LCs were bombarding everything making sure that the four ports of Great Britain are not producing any ships and then taking over the uh, then destroying also the factories they didn't produce any mech units in them it was quite simple so Germany killed Russia sealed off Russia stays as the only country to fight us but they had at this point we had what was our army? Uh, armies. We had the uh, third biggest army. They were not even here. So yeah, I think that was like ten to one against Russia because Britain was whole empty, just waiting for him to go up. FK. This is what happened. That he went FK. Yeah, we finished Belgium, we started to attack Britain, landing there, sealing off Russia, that was already, I think, bought. As you see, it was going quite well and easy. The wealthiest nations too. Yeah, at some point I went AFK, I wonder why. Ah, uh, probably I was on a vacation or something. Yeah. Then we returned and took over, I think, England. Or not. Anyway, I was getting quite good. I went to FK once more. Yeah, so at that point they were all gone. So it was around since, since this. 50 they went fk it was just about scoring 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 getting england i think conquering england was done by the ai because it also went on offensive in russia and i didn't want it because i wanted a nice border here there was battleship they were battleships just shelling enemy ports in the Black Sea to make sure they don't produce any ships. Uh, what's more? Yeah. We're shelling, shelling, shelling. So at that point, it was very easy to win. It was just about finishing the game. And this is when we wanted to test our AI. I started to produce infrastructure that can be used. By by the AI when I go FK, I wanted to see what the AI will produce, how they will fight and such a things. But of course I needed to make sure that they are not going into Russia, so I was pushing them off. So there was a lot of working. And I believe that was the day when I left game for good. Yeah. So as you see the difference in points is huge. No, I'm still logging, still logging. So around day 105 was the last FK. Yeah, 105 when I left the game. Maybe not, maybe 118. Anyway, from time to time I was checking the map. I'm not doing anything, just allowing AI to do they think but I think this is the day when Russia com came back yeah I went to FK I informed them of course around day 
70 80 that I will be leaving them up but they can win it but they need to return and win it so it took them around 100 days or more to come back to the game yep so he is back he took a piece from me okay he decided to go for AIs first so day 138, Reconquista, I'm turning FK, I ask him to wait for me to turn FK and then, then attack me. And this is what happens, he started to go against AIs, thanks to that I was getting more points. Yep, not quite enough, but a lot. He went on Rampage against Balkans. Getting more and more points. Of course, he was able to give provinces to his friends and make them work with him too, but he never did it. So, okay, then he took Sweden. Yeah, World Mightiest Armies, as you see, even after his return, I'm st st still the strongest. And, uh, oh, interesting, I wasn't the wealthiest, so. AI has blundered the money somewhere, lost all of them because I was the richest guy in the world, I had like 90% of the wealth I'm not sure what AI did with it Yeah, AI was using barracks, I think this is the time when he attacked so I had three times bigger army Okay, let's see how it goes, so he attacks, oh my god, <laughs> I just crushed him, just went through him, but with the huge losses. Remember that I had 250,000 troops killing over half a million of his, and this is something opposite when he's fighting a, my bot. So my bots randomly attacks without any reason, probably a lot of troops were lost on sea and they are doing fine for now <laughs> All right. oh my god they took whole Russia, oh my god <laughs> yep <laughs> they took <laughs> the whole Russia, <laughs> interesting but he was able to push them from Balkans, so that's not good for AI. Then he closed the gap. I think it was enough to cut them off here and just surround them and destroy. Even attacking here, well, but nevertheless, it's interesting to see that AI was trying to do something, okay? He's closing everything. So it was almost like Barbarasso plan. Hmm. I never watched it like that, but yeah, it sounds fun. <laughs> Let's go for Russia. <laughs> On myself. Yeah. So he's pushing me, then I'm pushing him. Stalemate. I still have 66% of army, so I'm pretty sure he was fighting only infantry, not the mech units. Alright, he's pushing me back. Now, this is the, the original border with the tanks and everything. Hearts. He's pushing back, he's pushing back. Interesting, AI yeah, is fighting back too. At that point, the AI had less infantry, so they were able to produce more troops. Pretty sure of that. Okay, fights everywhere, now it's, there is a change, so he started to destroy the heavy bombardment, okay, so he used ships to attack me, okay, I won't be interfering into that, but yeah, it's nice to see how the AI is going on. No, he used a lot of gold, my AI is just spamming gold regularly. This is where he gets advantage, 2 to 1, 
in kills and I'm pretty sure there will be huge push now yeah. Italy so he is trying to take Italy so he can focus probably on France later okay what is that I'm not sure because I cannot see anything but that AI push that was interesting I think Day 170, yeah? Russia. Russia, Sweden, still fighting, okay. Pretty sure he learned a lot from fighting this AI. And I really hope this will help him in the future. No, oh, yep. So he started the war against us, destroying a lot with bombardment. Good. All right, AI is pushing on expense of infantry. Cover of Morocco has been destroyed. Artillery Brigade in Russia has been destroyed. My God, uh, it was all about keeping this line here steady between Trieste and Hamburg, creating the killing zone there for anything that AI can throw on you. Well, it didn't work well for him, yeah, like here, skipping straight line, that was all he needed, anyway, so we started fighting, huge push from AI, my god, everywhere, doesn't make any sense, why not here, maybe AI is going for your capitals, but I know that AI can see where you have troops, where you cannot have, where you don't have, so that is how the AI is planning to attack you. So it looks like uh, he had a lot of empty provinces here. While some troops were coming that direction, and that's why AI decided not to attack there. Same with Sweden, look how the AI is attacking Sweden. Because they know there are no troops. Then pushing, pushing, pushing AI everywhere. Forcing AI to Germany and then back to France. Uh, so infighting, infighting. Oh, the original border. So it took him two weeks to stabilize the front against AI. Okay, then additional two weeks of fighting on the border. Yeah, so they are in the war in for since 33 days. As you see, my planes are dying because he's shooting them on, on the ground. He is attacking with singular infantry. Mm, I'm not sure what I can do. I'm pretty sure I cannot do anything. Because I don't have any infantry. Oh, I have some. Well, that's more than enough to win this. But I think he deserves winning. Plus, we need to lose that game. And yeah. So for now, we'll just do that. See how we, he will do with that. <laughs> uh, sh should be alright. Should be. We have another dead. Another dead. Yep. Okay. We don't have enough wood. Yeah, let's do it that way. Uh, that should give AI enough well we can start to build armor cars everywhere how is it that we are not producing any oil AI what the hell are you doing um, and who is selling this oil Oh, AI, yeah, you have everything you need <laughs> to fight the war. But who is selling this oil? There is only me and him. You, you can see it on the map. No one else. And there are still offers. Trade offers. And what does it mean is... Um, 
that. We can probably make some money. Later. That's the for four. Let's sell some fish. We won't sell oil, but we can buy oil. Good. We can buy oil for 1.5. 1.5 buy me a lot of oil man a lot still have money oh my god yes and then sell 13.6 gas for for millions <laughs> yeah man should be enough to support our war effort, uh, it's more oh, uh, so that at the same prepare the offer to sell 13.8. Uh, a lot of coal, please. Let's sell that coal, yeah. So we have everything we need for sale. We can buy some wood, I guess. So, some. I am nine four six. I think that should be enough. Yeah, eight millions to continue the war. What do you say? We can always pop up later. In general, if you don't move troops, you shouldn't be turning online. But what I did was. I looked at his message and this caused me to turn from the AFK character into online character and I didn't want that because I will be losing a lot of troops because of that well, I have enough planes to kill him with that Just get the planes all together and bomb him same with ships I should be one the day. I will treat them here. No. Sorry. Those guys have no idea what they are doing. I'm pretty sure this will be good. Got some things going on. Maybe build more rail guns. I don't know. Rail guns, baby. Oh, Nothing. Right, so maybe other way around. Get me those troops. Raven, please. Tumba. Ibiza. Amnesia. Club Amnesia. Ibiza. Yes. Yeah, that's the first one. <laughs> Now we'll be def defending that part, so we need RG here. Another RG, it's called Andorra. Yeah. Okay, another one. Oh, we have enough. They are covering almost everything, so I guess we should be fine, but we'll see. Ah, oh, man. No, oh, maybe here and there. Two rail guns. <laughs> Just to annoy a little bit. I won't need those ships here, so. Okay. I think that's enough of the setup. Oh, that is enough planes for me to kill army of 3-4 million so I'm pretty sure he doesn't have such army. 
uh, but I don't have any infantry here and I don't have any any uh, they have support for the play so we won't be risking it we can always go that way uh, protect <laughs> Whatever, this is how it looks like. I hope you like it. And interesting thing about this map is look how much how much space is around this map. So what me and a couple of friends are thinking that those bots that you see, the trading bots, this is not us, this is not Russia. Those guys do not exist on that map that I see. So they have to exist somewhere here. This is like a standard set up for the games that are, you set up things out of the reach of the player so in the example if you have a nation that they cannot die in some kind of strategy all you need to do is to create a location outside of the reach of the normal map for example here with the capital one two provinces and make sure that this nation is spawning troops somewhere here, let's say, or here, or here, or here. So, despite they, they have country here, they are able to spawn troops here. This is how you make sure that the countries that are very vital for, their, for the future of the game, they are not killed. Right, so this is how it looks like. I hope you liked it, and see you in the next one, I guess. Let me know if you want to know more about this game. Because in three days I will be turning FK once more, and then we can talk. You know, I don't want to mess up things for this guy. I think that he deserves to win. But still, I'm able to smash him with all these planes in like two days. Only with planes, not even using ships, or <laughs> RGs, or arts, or anything like that. Now let me know in the comments what do you think what we should do next and for example let's say that we want to build a couple of arts here Ta -da. same here we want a couple of arts maybe railgun give me railgun here man give me wood okay go for wood Will be railgun. Um, where are those railguns? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, th those are arts. I don't think we need that railgun. So remove it. But we need railgun somewhere. Someone in here, yeah. Produce it, please. Dublin. Maybe you can hear it. My kinky neighbors are going somewhere, <laughs> smashing door all the time. Bunch of young ladies. Not sure what they are doing there, but they have a lot of fun for sure. Mm, yeah. And I think that's all, I guess. Yeah, ships, make sure that no one is swimming here, make sure that it's covered, make sure that is covered. This is the way how you check that enemy subs are not swimming below. Yeah, you can cover, you need to cover the dot, to be honest, that's all you need to do, you cover dot your Okay, and I think that's all. Yeah, let's ride with the guy. Yes. Oh man.
good. And don't check messages in the future. Right, that's all. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in comments below what would you like to see from that map or know from that map. And see you around. Bye.